people of Pennsylvania woke up to the fact that they've been taken, they've been raped by the coal companies and the steel companies from where their landscape, their environment had been ravished and exploited bitterly. They kind of like a sleeping giant. The people woke up and said, "Enough is enough." You got the the, the largest law firms hired uh, by big big companies trying to obliterate, literally obliterate families. We talk less, far less than we should uh, about the environmental impacts in underserved communities. We want to be just as committed to the environment in an urban community as we are in the, in the great vistas of our state. The right to pure water, clean air, and a healthy environment are inherent and indefeasible rights. These are rights that don't just belong to the people here today but they belong to all the future generations yet to come. Our whole world is our environment. Are you concerned about the environment? Very much, yes. This is a industri heavy industrial activity that you're allowing to occur in the backyards of families, next door to schools, next to malls. And, and you're giving that industry, a heavy industry that has a huge climate and environmental impact, carte blanche to do whatever the hell they want, wherever the hell they want, whenever they want, with protections. We are having to do the work of continuing to hold that industry accountable for their insults and assaults on the environment and on communities. And we looked at it and we looked at our constitution, we said, uh, pretty clearly that you overstepped the bounds, you know, you took away people's rights. So I wrote this 156 page opinion that, that says you got to go back and do it right. The court had given life to the Environmental Rights Amendment for the first time, so it was pretty, uh, it was very exciting. I think I felt it for a moment, um, and then it was really like, okay, now what do we do with this? You know, in the state of Pennsylvania, they actually have a green amendment that, that ensures that Pennsylvania residents are entitled to clean air, clean water, and healthy environment. What do you think about that as an idea? It's a good idea. Clean water, clean air, uncontaminated land, all of those things should be guaranteed in the Constitution. We need justice for everybody in every community, and we're not going to get there unless it's recognized by the state through the Green Amendment. We're all beings. We all live on this planet together. Now we can either sit back and ignore that fact and let the world crash and burn, or we can do something about it and live together peacefully. The fact is, seeing these millions of younger people are making a valid point, and we older people can pay attention to it and get moving with it. We are the first generation who will experience climate change, but we're also the last generation who will be able to do something about it. I don't want to just exist. I want to be able to live.